Okay, that concludes the control quality process here in the crowd training PM City. So let's review what we covered here in the control quality process. We had first obviously the inputs. Let's go with those. In the inputs, we have to know the plans, right? So first and foremost, we have to have well, the project management plan to tell us everything that we need to do and why and how come and what we're trying to control, etc. So that's the project management plan, which I like to draw as a little file folder because it consists of so many different folders of all the different plans that we are dealing with. Primarily, of course, the quality because that's what we're judging everything against. Also, all the documentation, especially the quality documentation that we might have for the project, but many others like, well, did, uh, um, did we decide to learn anything and we documented those lessons learned and so those would constitute as more documents as our project documents so there's a bunch of them now also too if there's been changes like if we're controlling things and um, the changes have come in and remember these are approved change requests you know and, and they've been changed right because now we have to either implement them or just check to see if they are working and that's what we need to try to control. Also, we need to look at things that have been delivered because if we are saying they're done, I'll put a nice little bow on here, but um, is it in fact delivered as we expect it to be? And if so, do they meet all the quality standards that we have set forth? Additionally, um, before it's even delivered, we're looking at, well, how is that work going? You know, as we're building it, as we're putting it together, as it's not yet fully done. And so this time I won't draw a <laughs> little bow on it because we're still working on it. So that work performance and however you are measuring it, however you are collecting it, but that data, because you're not really making sense of it, you're just kind of taking it all in. That's what we're going to be leveraging as inputs. And then as always, we have a product of our environment. So I like to draw these little buildings because we are part of the environment in which we work in, which is our enterprise environmental factors. And then, of course, um, we might have templates and other type of you know assets within our organization. And so I'll just draw the, a binder to illustrate all these different, um, you know, what we call OPAs or organizational process assets. All right, those are again the inputs. Now let's review the tools and techniques. Well, if we're going to try to control the quality, we have to take this data and gather it in some sort of way. So there's lots of different ways we can gather the data. Uh, let's go with a simple, just, you know, checklist. Just say, did we do it? Did we not do it? Is it meeting the quality that we set forth? So we have to gather the data in some format and or another additionally when we have that information gathered well let's make sense of it right so if we're going to use charts or graphs or run charts or um, histograms you know whatever the case might be how are we going to look at it and then analyze it so data analysis and then also, too, when we're looking at things where things just don't look right, we have to look at, well, why? We have to maybe dig a little deeper. And so we might get the magnifying glass out and then inspect why is it happening this way? What is going on? What's what's at risk or what's at cause or what might be at issue? Then there's going to be, as we're collecting the data or just any other method that we're going to be using um, to collect and test. So... How about we just used a simple scale just to, to use as an example here, and then maybe we are measuring it, and it's supposed to measure a certain amount. And in that case, whatever our test methods are, we need to test to see if, in fact, it conforms to the requirements that we have set for our parts, our specifications, our project needs, etc. And then also, um, we need to analyze it, but we also represent it in, in many different ways. And so... I kind of put these together because we're going to look at it and make sense of it, but we're also going to represent it in sub, sub, <laughs> some sort of way. And um, so you're, you're trying to make sense of it in some type of, type of format or whatever way that is communicating what we're learning from our quality information. And then 
we got to talk it over, we got to present it, we got to make sense of it, you know, whether this is via an email or a formal presentation where you bring everybody together. But um, in a general sense, we just say meetings. So these quality meetings or part of a, another project meeting where we talk about maybe some quality that has come up, good, bad, or indifferent. All right, so what do we get out of controlling our quality? Well, those are the outputs. Well, one, we should have these measurements. As we're collecting them, we should have something to show. So I'm just going to kind of draw a quick ruler here to represent the quality control measurements that we have gathered, collected, and, and done. Also, the work that we have delivered over here, I'll kind of bring way over back over here to say, yep, in fact, not only did we deliver it, but you know what? It is A plus. <laughs> it has, um, we have verified it, and this deliverable does, in fact, meet all that we said it would meet. And so it's a verified deliverable. Also, here we had the work performance data, but as it's gone through our, our thinking and our analysis and our gathering, we now have it in a sense that is not just raw data, but it's actually in some format of information. And so I'll just say info, and then maybe it's a nice little chart or presentation that we've made. Um, also, sometimes, though, too, whether it's approved changes that have come through and we find out, you know what, that doesn't work, or maybe it's as we work through things or we've inspected things, you know what, we got to change things. So this is where we also make those requests for change. And then it will go, obviously, through the change control procedures that we have set in the perform integrated change control process. And then as we are making our way through the quality, we are updating our documentation and our plans. So there are going to be updates to the PMP, the project management plan, and updates to our docs as well. You know, things like if we learn something, we better update the lessons learned. All right, so that, again, is a quick thing. We've already gone through all these, but this is a nice little review of all the inputs, outputs, tools, and techniques of control quality in the sixth edition of the PMBOK from the crowd training.